Big news, I've got a new retro gaming channel called Forever 8-Bit. It's linked in the video description and pinned comment. But hey, don't forget to watch this video first. Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you over there. Time to grab your Sega Genesis Mini and a FAT32 formatted USB drive. We're about to add the entire Sega Genesis library to your Mini, all thanks to the power of HackG. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video for an important bonus tip that you don't want to miss. Let's go! First step in the process, you'll need to download HackG for Windows. It's listed in the video description and hosted on the GitHub. On the GitHub page, scroll down until you see the Assets section. Locate the executable file shown here. Click on this file and download it to your Downloads folder on your PC. To install HackG to your computer, double-click on the executable file in your Downloads folder. Then at the UAC prompt, select Yes to continue. You can use the default installation settings, but I do recommend that you at least add a desktop icon for HackG throughout this tutorial. Once you've made your selections, click Next in the bottom right corner, then click Install to begin the installation process. Once HackG has been installed to your system, click the Close button in the bottom right corner of the window to close out the installer. Then you can delete the executable for the installer out of your Downloads folder. To launch HackG for the first time, you can just close out File Explorer, and then double-click the Quick Launch icon on your desktop. See? Convenient! The first time you run HackG, you'll be greeted with a splash screen. Click the OK button to continue. Although not shown here, if you're prompted to allow access for HackG through the firewall, select Yes. It's a perfectly safe program. I can't stress the importance of this enough, especially with the Genesis Mini. You have to use a USB cable that is both charge and data capable. The USB cable included with the Genesis Mini is a charge-only cable and does not support data syncing. If you need one of these cables, I have one link for you in the video description. Once you acknowledge HackG's notice about the data cable, HackG will load and set up some necessary files. Taking a quick moment here to expand HackG full screen. The first time you run HackG, it will default to the NES Mini. To change this, navigate to the top left corner of the screen. You'll see a drop-down here with your list of system choices. In this case, you're looking for the Sega Genesis USA setting. Scroll down to it and click on it. You'll see that the list of default games will change in the left pane from the NES to the Genesis. Take note that you may see games outside of your original region. Like you see here, there are some Japanese games that are unchecked and USA games that are checked. HackG is installed in Windows, but it's not installed on your mini console yet. In the top navigation menu, click on Kernel. Then scroll down to the listing for install slash repair and click on it. At the confirmation prompt, select yes to continue. You'll see on-screen instructions for how to place your system into recovery or FEL mode, then connect it to your PC. Here's how that's done. With your Sega Genesis Mini unplugged and powered off, press and hold the reset button. Then turn on the power button. Continue to hold the reset button and then plug your system in by USB to your PC. Your PC will acknowledge the USB connection. You can let go of the reset button now. The installation process will restart your Sega Genesis Mini a couple of times. Be sure to leave your Mini plugged in by USB and powered on during the entire process and don't do anything to disrupt it. Once the installation process is complete, you'll see a pop-up message with a green check mark confirming everything went to plan. Click the OK button to continue. You can turn off your Sega Genesis Mini now and unplug it from your computer. Now that we've got HackG installed on your Sega Genesis Mini, let's get games loaded onto a FAT32 formatted USB drive. For this demonstration, I have the entire set of Sega Genesis ROMs in no intro format saved in a folder called Demo on my computer. The easiest way to copy your games into HackG is the drag and drop method, so I'm just going to take this File Explorer window and set it over to the right side of the computer, open HackG on the left side, expand it out just a little bit, and then maximize the window for File Explorer with the game ROMs. You can use the mouse to highlight all of the games by dragging and highlighting over them all, but I'm just going to press Ctrl A on the keyboard to mark them all at one time. With all of the game ROMs marked, you can drag and drop them directly onto the list of games inside HackG. Then be prepared to hurry up and wait because it's going to take a while. But that'll give you a chance to subscribe to the channel while you're here. Once all of the games have been copied into HackG, you'll need to set up a structure for them. You see, the main menu of the Genesis Mini can't show the entire game library at one time. To create a new menu structure, click the Structure button. In the pop-out menu that appears, click the listing that says Custom Use Folders Manager. If this is your first time doing this, you'll need to repeat that exact same process. Click Structure again, and then click Custom Use Folders Manager once again. The key to organizing this many games is to create folders with alphabetical listings. 
If you take a look on the right hand side of the folder manager window, you'll see a listing for split by first letter. Click on this listing. You'll now find that there are folders with each of the letters of the alphabet in alphabetical order. All of your game ROMs have been sorted into each of these folders and even subfolders as necessary when the menu on the main Genesis Mini can't show enough games at one time. Another great thing about Hackchi is that it will automatically download box art for your game ROMs. Cool! That's everything you need to do inside the folder manager. Come down to OK and click on it to close folder manager. Before proceeding, go ahead and put in your FAT32 formatted USB drive. If File Explorer pops up, no worries, just go ahead and close it out. Down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a listing that says Export to USB. Click this button to continue. You'll see a pop-up message in the center of the screen asking you to confirm the location that you want to copy the files to. Make absolutely certain that you have your USB drive selected here. HackG should find it by default, but just in case, if you need to change it, click the drop down here and select your USB drive from the list of storage locations. Once you have your USB drive selected, click OK to continue. HackG is going to open up the custom folder manager again. Just click the OK button to close it out. And be prepared to hurry up and wait again. How long this takes largely depends on how many games you're copying over and the speed of your USB drive and computer. Once the process is complete, you'll see File Explorer open up the window containing your USB drive contents. It should have several new folders here. You don't have to do anything with this except close out File Explorer. You'll see a confirmation window showing you that everything went to plan. Click OK to continue. At this point, you can close out HackChi, connect Power HDMI and a controller to your Sega Genesis Mini, and insert your newly modified USB stick into the Player 2 USB port on the right front side of the Genesis Mini. Turn on the power to the system and look for the HackChi splash screen. Instead of the stock games, you should see the listings that have the alphabetized folders on the main menu. And as you can see here, games that were never included on the Sega Genesis Mini to start with, like OutRun, are now available and have the box art shown right on the menu. And here's that bonus tip I promised you. Remember how that first step we took in Hackchi was to click on the drop down to change NES Mini to Sega Genesis USA? Well, you can use the same Hackchi installation on your PC to also mod your NES Classic. Check out the video shown on screen and link in the pinned comment and description.